Alright me babbers, my name's Craig Evans and welcome to another sketch and tip video here on Sketchy. Right, so, should we get into it? This video I will be showing you some tips on base layer colouring and just starting off the uh, filling in of the colour on after you've done the outline drawing of your sketch. So, I have already done the outline of Taika Waititi, because uh, I really want to draw him, I love him, he's great. So let's just start the recording. Done. Okay. So. I'm going to be doing these in several episodes, by the way, because if I don't, it will be hours long and you will get bored. And we don't want you bored now, do we? So here we go then. So as you can see on the screen here, I've got a outline drawing of Taika Waititi. And the first thing after you've done the outline is to fill in the base colours. So I always go make sure to always create a new layer otherwise you're going to ruin the whole drawing. What you have to do first is choose a colour on his face which is the most prominent and I know this is going to look like I'm ruining the drawing, but trust me, it is not. And you just do that all over his face, like so. And you've done, you've completed the drawing, well done. Uh, so yeah, after that you've done that, then you just need to look a bit closer at his face and pick some different shades. So I've just gone for a darker shade there on his left side of the face. And you just want to fill in some of these areas with the darker shade that I've just chosen. And you just want to try and just sort of make it similar to, to his, his actual picture on the, on the left hand side here. So I've done, that's fine for me at the moment. So you just choose another colour maybe on the other side. So if I choose that one there and do exactly the same thing, just go around this side of his face and on the bottom of his face it's quite dark so I'm going to do that there and just fill in the darkness there. And then under his, under his jawline is another little bit of darkness. And just keep doing this really, just all the way, all over his face. Just keep picking up different colours and highlighting these areas. You don't obviously have to be perfect at the moment, you just need the base colours in. Just get them roughly in the right place. Now you choose this uh, blender down here. You don't want it that blended, you want it probably around there. And then just go over all of these areas that you've just done. Try and keep, keep the shading in roughly the same area that you've tried to shade. And then you just go around the whole face, his whole face. Dark bit under the chin. And there you go, that will do. So now the next thing to do is the boring part, which I always hate doing. You have to go around the outline and just delete anything that you've got over the lines. Now I'm pretty certain there are people who will know much much easier ways of doing this but this is how I do it. So 
to save you all from just falling to sleep, I think I might fast forward this part. So if I'm doing some strange noises, then I apologize. But anyway, here we go, fast forward. Right, there we go. So that's the base face done. Um, now uh, we'll move on to the hair, the mouth, the eyes and the jacket and shirt. But anyway, next one. Let's do the hair. So you add another layer in. Same process. Choose something which you think is likely to be the hair colour, most of it anyway. And then just draw over. So yeah, another colour. So just go different colours all the way through his hair. Another one, a bit lighter grey over here. Just do swirly, swirly swirls all over it. Right, okay, that will do. And you just go whoop, 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 like so. And again, as I'm saying many, many times before, this is just a base layer. So, don't need to have that much detail at the minute. And again, now we do the boring thing where I speed up and delete. So bear with me. There we go. So that's his hair done. Now we want to focus on the, um, I always do the eyes and the mouth uh, in the same picture, but because he's got a moustache, I think I'm going to do the moustache and his jacket in this layer. The thing is with each layer you want to sort of get things down on the page which don't affect each other, just in case you need later to delete his moustache. You don't want to be having his mouth there as well because when you're erasing you're also going to erase his mouth. So you want his mouth and the moustache in, in completely different layers. So what we'll do now is his moustache which is a lot darker than his hair. Whoops. So you want to reduce the size here of the pen because you don't want massive clumps for his moustache. So we'll put the moustachio in. Like so. Just put loads of little lines I find is good for a moustache base layer. And then as you add in more over the layers, it makes it look quite realistic. And then you just want to do like flex through the dark as well. And he's also over here, he has got a bit of grey going on, so you put a bit of lighter shades on top there, like so. You don't want to blend this too much because you want the little bits to be seen, so you just want to go roughly over like this. There we go. And because it didn't really go out those lines there, we can just leave that. Yeah, we can just leave that just as it is. So, next, as I said, we're going to try and do his tux, his bow tie, and his shirt. All in the same layer still, we're still on the same layer. So same process, you know this process by now, just putting it base layer, just going to go all over the bits where he is coloured in this specific colour. My cat has decided to join me, I know you can't see her but I can, she is right there <laughs> and she is 
is distracting me. So if you hear any meows or anything, it's not my tummy, it's my cat. Right, and then you blend it again, same as before. This is just really to make sure there's no harsh lines in the thinnest finished picture. My cat has decided I'm going to show you her if she doesn't run away. She, no, she's run away. She's run away. No, she's not having any of it. She's not having any of this rubbish YouTube stuff, are you? There we go. And I also like to do at the bottom here just a little bit of blending because it just finishes it off a bit, I feel. It sort of like blends it into into the air, like it's floating. Okay, so, done all of that layer. We'll do another layer on top of there, which will be the eyes, the mouth, the eyebrows, and the bow tie. And yeah, we're coming along, aren't we all? Yeah? It's not that hard, is it? All this drawing malarkey is not hard at all. Done some here. Zoom in, like this, just fill it in the same way as you did the moustache. He's got some nice eyebrows. Taika, you've got some nice eyebrows if you ever watch this. Okay, so it's eyes. Now, loads of people will be putting white eyes in don't work. No one ever has white eyes. It's always a strange grey or yellow colour is what I found. It's odd, I know, but it's true. And that will actually do for the eyes because I'll do the actual inner bit I think on the next layer. And then his mouth. Quite a light lower lip, actually. And then the upper lip is usually darker, like so. And that'll do for the base layer of there. And then you want to do is his bow tie. Now I am reducing the transparency of the lower layer so I can see where the bow tie begins because I want to try and go in the lines for the bow tie. I wouldn't be able to see the lines because the lower layer is so dark. So you reduce the transparency so you can see the lower layer and do the filling in. Because now I'll just show you if I increase the transparency of the lower layer again. There you go. Now I've gone, I filled in the bow tie. So yeah, anyway, I think that will be enough for this video because otherwise, as I said at the beginning, I'll be here for days and you'll be bored and then you'll never come back and I want you to come back because you're gorgeous people. Uh, so the next video will be continuing on this drawing of Taika and I'll be going more into details, the detailed bits of the drawing where I will be giving him like stubble and looking at more of the shading, um, blending and then uh, yeah 
or complete it by doing the background and you'll see the finished product. It will be superb. But I'm gonna just finish off some of these under layers. Uh, so next time it will be smooth transition into the details. So yeah, like, follow, subscribe, share, do all of that stuff, I love it all. Don't know what it means, but I love it. And until next time, me babbers, ciao.